Good afternoon, YouTube. Piano Piper coming at you with another video. Uh, by the way, everyone, happy International Pipe Smoking Day. 0220-2020. How cool is that, huh? Um, so, this video that I'm making this afternoon is I'd like to share an unboxing of a pipe lighter that I just purchased on eBay. And without further ado, bear with me and I'll grab the package. So, in the mail today, I opened up this package because I needed to make sure that this was a pipe lighter because I've also purchased a few other things. Uh, just needed to make sure that this is what it was. And it is. So, today we're going to be checking out my new Mr. Grog pipe lighter. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research online trying to find uh, a different pipe lighter that uses butane because my other lighter is my uh, Zippo with the pipe insert. Awesome lighter, very dependable, can't go wrong with it. However, I don't enjoy getting the taste of lighter fluid in my mouth when I'm lighting up my pipe. So I've been checking out different butane lighters, uh, and I love the old boy Corona. Uh, I love that style, the old, old school look, and that's what I would like to get. Uh, however, I can't justify spending a hundred to five hundred bucks on a lighter. That's just absolutely insane. Um, so I went with a cheaper option and could justify spending fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Uh, I've seen a few reviews on YouTube about the Mr. Brog pipe lighters, and so far. Uh, there's a lot of good to be said about them. There's some people, obviously, that have had bad luck, and you know I'm sure there's there's going to be some out there that malfunction. Um, but for fourteen dollars and change, I don't think you can go wrong. So it comes in this fancy little case. It's almost it's not leather, but it, it feels like a quality case anyway. So, when you get yours, if you order one, it's going to come in a package like that. And, take it out of the package. Oh, yeah. Well, I got to tell you right off the bat, I've never, like I said, I've never owned or held or used uh, an old boy. Corona lighter, so I don't know how heavy they are, but I can tell you the half to this is uh, pretty good. So to me, that tells me it's probably a fairly good quality lighter, especially for the price. Um, my Zippo, yeah, the Mr. Brog lighter is coming in heavier than the uh, Zippo. So on this casing, um, there's little engraved pipe shapes, and it tells you the shape. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. You've got like a bent apple and a Dublin poker. And then on the other side, there's some more. Very nice. Very, very, very nice looking lighter. I'm very pleased. Um, 
on the bottom, you've got this screw over here. You unscrew and put in your butane. Uh, and then this screw right here is to adjust the flame. And then this here is a pipe tool. Um, it's a pick and a tamper. I'll never use that because I use... Um, <laughs> I grabbed the lighter. I use uh, just the basic pipe tool set. You can get it at your local brick and mortar for, I don't know, a couple bucks, I think. Can't go wrong with those. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. So anyway, um, very pleased with the uh, presentation of this pipe lighter. Very nice. Um, if it lights and functions and continues to light as well as it looks, I'll be very pleased. But again, I've got to stress. Can't stress enough. It was $14 and change, okay? On eBay, the retail was $18.95 from this particular seller. They also had to make an offer. So I made an offer $14. They accepted it. So with shipping and tax it was just shy of 15 bucks on mr brog's website the same lighter is selling for twenty twenty seven dollars and 99 cents plus shipping so I wouldn't recommend buying it on uh, Mr. Brog's website when you can get it for almost half the price on eBay brand new this has never been used uh, so what they say about it on Mr. Brog's website is it's a heavy chrome build and I like I said it does have some heft to it uh, will last a lifetime. Built-in tamper and peck, as I said. Uh, it's got a flame size adjuster, which is that middle screw. Uh, comes with a Mr. Brog gift box, uh, which I've showed you. Uh, it says butane not included, so when you get this, you're going to have to make sure you also purchase some butane uh, to get you going. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to fill this up with butane, and I'll be right back at you. Alright guys, I'm back. Got it filled up with butane, it was pretty simple. Like I said, you undo that screw. I used a butter knife, because I couldn't find any small uh, flathead screwdrivers right here in the house. They're probably out in my workshop. Um, then you just take your butane, push it down in there, and you're good to go. Put the screw back in. So you flip the top up, that turns on the butane, and then you flick the wheel there, and we've got a flame. I've got to adjust that flame a little bit. It's a little high. So let me do that real quick. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I've got the flame adjusted down. It was a little high, but that's just about where I like it right there. And uh, so far, she's lighting on the first flick. So for 15 bucks, uh, I don't think you can go wrong if you like this style lighter. Uh, by the way, this is the uh, little pipe tool that's in the bottom of the lighter. Uh, 
like I said, I'm never going to use that. But you got a little pick there, and then the tamper. Uh, you just slide it back in. And you're good to go. When you want to take it out, you line up uh, this arrow with the notch on the lighter itself, and then it will just pull straight out. So, my understanding is with these lighters, uh, it didn't come with any extra flints, but the uh, Mr. Brog lighters use uh, Zippo flints. That's my understanding. So I'm sure they're pretty accessible just about any uh, brick and mortar. So guys, I'm very happy uh, with this purchase. I hope you guys uh, found this informative. And check out eBay if you want to buy these. You can't go wrong for the price. Um, I'll be back at you probably this evening with another video. I'm going to do a pipe tobacco review. And the pipe tobacco I'm going to be reviewing Carter Hall pipe tobacco. I've never had this. I don't usually go for the over the counter stuff. But I've heard a lot of raving reviews about it. And uh, actually this morning on the uh, International Pipe Smoking Day, uh, Derek Tent went live and I asked him that question and he said it's actually surprisingly not a bad blend and he says it's probably his favorite over-the-counter blend. So I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. So guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. I would appreciate it because I'm just getting started on this channel. And I hope to keep making videos for you guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, see you guys real soon. Take care.